Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you and welcome. Okay. All right. Man, so many early birds. Well done. Uh, Thank you everyone for joining. A lot of names in here, a lot of familiar names, a few new ones. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Thank you everybody. Um, we will be getting going shortly. We're going to just give time for, well, first of all, everyone's so, so early. Uh, we'll give time for everyone to arrive and then we will get going. Oh, Lynn, where are you? How to talk. And then, hey, JD. Hey, Lynn. Let me promote a panelist. Okay. Ha ha. There you go, Lynn. All right. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. All right. Let me make sure that you have. Okay, panelist, make you a co-host. There we go. Boom. Done. Perfect. Invested. Well, we have a lot of eager, eager beavers. Although we are otters here, we're an otter family. Uh, but eager yeah. beavers, we got. 65 people here already. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I figured, I said, hey JD, let's start a little early. I have a feeling people are eager. Yep, yep, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. Um, I mentioned we'll probably give it to just a few minutes past one oh, yeah. so we can let people get in, get situated. Um, I didn't, I was, well, actually, let me see, can I add? Oh, I can do this after the fact. Let's see. And paste. Welcome, everyone. All right. Ooh. Oh, they're in the three digits now. All right, great. Yeah, we had uh, quite a large uh, group of people who are interested. I think nearly 300 uh, current thank viewers um, wanted to jump or learn more about Otter, see what we can do with um, digital endowment report delivery. So this is old hat for Lynn. I think you've given this this like two, two or three times now, but yeah. um, but for everyone that hasn't um, that hasn't seen it before, we are. If if you have joined some of her her previous uh, webinars, we're going to be going over a lot of the same information. We do have some updates. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of questions that have been answered since that first webinar, so we can talk through um, any questions you might have. We'll we'll certainly have time to do all that. And I'm wondering, are we going to be joined? I want to make sure if we get Chip and Old Roy on here. I think Chip will be coming. Don't know okay. about Roy. Okay, excellent. Hi, everybody, and welcome. So excited to see all of you guys. Absolutely. And then, uh, yeah, yes. we're going to record this. You'll get a copy of the recording so you can share it with your friends, your colleagues, anything like that. And of course, anyone who wants a follow up call, we're going to teach you how to do that afterwards as well to think about implementing Otter at your campus, your organization. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, of course, Michelle, great question. Also, we'll send you the link to the slides that I'm using today. Um, I'll send JD the updated slide deck after we're done. And we're also going to record all the questions, the good questions you ask. 
Yeah, so for anyone that has any questions, there is the Q&A uh, portion right here in the, um, you can see it in your lower bar there. Just drop your questions in there. Um, we'll try to address them as we go through, or if it makes more sense for us to address it kind of once the presentation is done. Uh, but be, be certain we will get to your questions. Um, great, excellent. All right, let's see. It's just 144 of our closest friends, Shady. Mm -hmm. It's 12 times 12, that's always good. It's, that's where I kind of max out my multiplication tables. Oh, 145. I have no idea what, what you multiply to get to 145 now. I feel like they oh. came here to see my new friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a mascot. Yeah, uh, that, that, is, that remains nameless for the, for the moment. Yeah, we're going to have a naming party for him. Shannon adopted an otter for me at the Central Florida Zoo. So he's our new mascot right here. We're just going to have to name him, but he's a, he's a river otter. Apparently there are lots of kinds of otters. Uh, yes, many, many types of otter. I don't know. I guess we never really discussed what our what the otter. He, he looks like a sea otter more than yeah. a river otter, but he's a darn cute otter. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's curious. A curious type. I learned some amazing facts about otters. Like they eat 30% of their body weight every day. So I'm a big fan of that. And when they go into their little dens, they're called couches. And a group of otters is called a romp. So they romp in the couch. So I'm a big, I'm a big fan of, uh, of the newly formed facts about otters. There you go. Excellent. All right. You ready to rock and roll? I think we're ready to rock and roll. I mean, I think, uh, okay, 204. Yep, I think we're good. Um, and as people trickle in, um, I guess, you know, again, thank you everyone for joining us here today. Uh, I'm J.D. Beebe. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Thank You. And of course, you all know uh, Lynn, but I'll let her introduce herself. Hey, everybody. It's Lynn Wester. I brought my friend, the Otter. He's our new, he's our new friend, but um, I'm a donor relations guru. And uh, J.D. and I and the folks at MSP are the folks that have made this possible. So we're so, so excited to show you um, what all Otter can do for you at your organization today. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we might be joined later by uh, Chip Stein of MSP Digital, but just to kind of even give a, a broad background, uh, certainly during COVID while we we're all kind of stuck inside and, and work as we know it was changing rapidly, Lynn reached out to us and said, hey, we got to figure out a way to make things digital. And in breakneck speed, Otter, uh, Otter came to be. And, you know, what you're going to kind of see today is how not only we can help you digitize everything and deliver things uh, securely and safely uh, using the Thank You platform, but also how the Otter team can provide the, uh, the managing, you know, manage the entire process. They can do the printing section. They can collate the data. So it's really soup to nuts, the entire experience, uh, if you so wish, or any mix of it. So uh, at this point, I'm going to turn the, the tables over to Lynn. She's going to walk you through the product. If you, again, if you have any questions throughout this, there is a Q&A section. Please drop it in there. We are recording this, so if anyone wants to see this afterwards, of course, we will be sending the recording afterwards, uh, along with the slides, any other information that you require. And at the end, we are going to be asking a poll that says, hey, are you interested in taking the next step and setting up a meeting with, uh, with us to talk about what this looks like for your organization? So if you can stick, stick by to answer that question, of course, we thank you. But if you can't, reach out to us uh, at otter at thank you.com. With that, Lynn, all yours. I'm going to share my screen here and launch you guys into some slides. Again, feel free to use the Q&A. Um, uh, so we're in week 12 of kind of our COVID reality. Um, and at about week three, I started realizing, wow, this is going to last a lot longer. Um, and this is going to change the way we do business in our industry. It, it certainly changed my business. Uh, as many of you know, I travel 300 nights a year and I have been home for 12 solid weeks. I haven't touched a plane. Um, so it certainly has changed my business. So I thought about the problems that a lot of us were going to be experiencing and the opportunities in that. So 
like JD said, I went to them and at Thankview and I went to the folks at MSP and said, we have an issue we need to solve. How are folks going to get their endowment reports out the door when they're not in the office and our donors are, are not, you know, having their direct mail the same way they used to. So <clears throat> we invented Otter, which stands for On Demand Digital Delivery of Endowment Reports, in case you like an acronym. And we thought it would be really cute. So um, we came up with this as a solution to your current reporting issues. Originally, again, uh, invented kind of in my mind's eye was the problem we were solving, the mousetrap we were building was endowment report delivery. What we soon learned in like five or six conversations was you can unleash this on all different kinds of reporting, but today we're going to focus primarily on endowment reporting and we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with you about how you want to use the platform in different ways. So our current endowment reporting situation, I've been doing it for 21 years. I remember mailing my first ever endowment reports at Rollins College. I actually walked them to the post office. It was so manually. I printed them and I remember it being revolutionary that I got a color printer 21 years ago that that would change my endowment reports forever. And um, so it was very manual. Um, I remember learning how to do Adobe um, so I could output them as PDFs instead of Word documents. I remember doing the merge and I had to become an Excel mail merge wizard and things like that. We printed everything and then we had a stuffing party where we all got paper cuts and, and then um, we got them out. It's a reliable process, it works. Um, it kills a lot of us and takes away months of our lives. And um, we all, all, a lot of us have seasons for our endowment reporting, it takes up so much of our time. So I really think that not only is this going to provide you with a digital delivery mechanism for your reports, it's also going to make your life easier. My goal here is to bring you a product that saves time, money, and work hours. So that's what we're thinking about. Um, COVID has changed how and where we work. Um, I'm here in my apartment in Austin. Uh, JD's in New York City and Chip's up there in Connecticut, I think. And so, um, you know, we all are working remotely. Uh, we're working during a pandemic, which is not just work, but we're also managing our lives. Um, it's, it's really COVID-19. If, if I could tell you that it brought about a revolution in higher education fundraising and that all of a sudden we could talk to our donors digitally, whereas before we were print laden and print heavy, um, we know that we can't email PDFs to our donors as attachments because they get blocked. It's laborious to attach each of them every time. And for the most part, portals are ineffective and expensive. So um, I knew we had to come up with something that wasn't a portal, that wasn't attaching emails, and that would give us the option also if the donor wanted to, because as many of you know, I'm a big believer in donor preference that the donor would be able to select that they want it printed and mailed to them as well. So maximum flexibility, maximum output, and again, you know, really thinking clearly about what it means to deliver endowment reports in a more effective way. So some of you might be saying, well, how is this different than a portal? Um, you know, I published the um, Pulse of Donor Relations survey every two years. About 15 or so institutions have donor portals. Um, some of them built them from home, uh, it, meaning their IT department. Some of them got them from vendors. And um, they're very expensive. Uh, most of our advancement services and IT departments don't have the time to build them. It can take months to onboard onto a portal. Uh, the donor has to have a username and login. Um, donors have to remember that username and login or you have to provide it to them constantly. And it requires you to change how you do your endowment reporting. And I thought, this isn't gonna work. We've got to be able to be nimble and change the way um, we deliver, not change our process. So I thought about, let's not build a portal. Let's take an existing product of Thangview, which most of you know and love. And you, if you know me, you know I've been screaming from the rooftops about Thangview since I met JD five years ago um, and saw his platform. Um, 
I'm sure many of you've leaned heavily into it during COVID times. Your donors love receiving their thank yous. It's got high click and open rates. So now I went and we, I said, well, now we've got to aggregate the reports and get them out. And that's where Chip and his data elves kind of come in and they take the reports and pop them into thank you and um, out the door it goes. So here's kind of our basic premise of what we've built out for you. Now, if I were to tell you that we're building the plane while we're flying it, that would be an understatement. Um, I talk to these guys more than I talk to my family members some weeks. Um, although don't worry, I talk to mom and dad a lot. Um, but the tech behind this has been built from scratch. We're so excited about the progress that we've made. Um, and we're so excited to tell you about that. Here's what we've built for you is it has digital delivery that's not an email attachment. It's completely encrypted and secure on secure servers. So your donor data isn't going out there into the Amazon cloud or anything like that. It is saying secure and protected. We have to have options and flexibility because if there's one thing I've learned in donor relations in the past 20 years, it's that everybody sends out their endowment reports differently. Everybody does them in a unique way. So we have maximum flexibility for you. Um, we are control freaks and we're proud of it and we love editing things. So we have a dual editing process in this where you can review and we need to preview and proof that work. So we have tons of ability for you to preview and proof your work. Um, we don't need donor logs in, logins and usernames. We can't, as a staff, be, we can't monitor that, keep up with it. The administration of that takes hours and hours. So we have a password ability that we need contactless printing. And one of the things that Chip's team, I've been working with Chip for a long time, but they have been deemed an essential business. Um, they've been printing for healthcare, hospitals, places that have been on the front lines of COVID. And so they've gotten special permission that even if we do have to close down again as a society, um, we have contactless co uh, collation printing and fulfillment. Um, because my greatest fear, of course, in doing endowment reports would be I'd be in the middle of printing them in my office and then boom, we have to go home and shelter in place again and the endowment reports don't go out with this system that wouldn't happen. So you wouldn't get caught. We need it to be affordable because nobody has any money and we're all under budget cuts, right? Um, we need it to be quick. So quick turnaround time. And for those of you who've gotten up on ThankView, you know how quickly you can get up on the platform and start sending. And we need it to be less work, not more. So all of that I brought to them as a premise. And so we have built out a platform for you. Here are the advantages I believe Otter has over you doing the traditional method. Um, you can deliver us the PDFs that you've already been working on, your mail merge, whatever you've done, you deliver us the PDFs or through the convenience package, say for example, you've had a reduction in staff or you've had some changes, you can send us the data and we will merge and collate and sort all your PDFs for you. So that's an upgrade in the convenience package where we can do your whole endowment reporting process for you. You can outsource it to us. We've been doing that. Chip's been doing that for years with places like Maryland and others. So it's not like we're new hat to that. We'll have secure delivery through ThankView. It'll be password protected. It's budget friendly and time saving. Um, the team that you're going to be working with this is what we do, you know. Um, it's myself and my donor relations guru teammates on the calls with you. You get five hours of our consulting and guidance, and we're going to walk you through this hand in hand. Chip's been in this industry for a long time, and JD has learned in the past five or six years more about donor relations than I think he ever wanted to know. Um, so we're experienced and we're here for you. The good news for those of you, especially at state schools with procurement departments is there's no need to process new vendor paperwork. If you already have thank you, it'll be an addendum to your contract. We've already done that with several clients. It's a very smooth turnaround process. Um, there's no need to go to bid. There's no need to do any of that. And we do have sole source paperwork available if you need that. You've got a dedicated customer support team, just like you do at ThankView. Um, you've also got us on our Otter team. You've got it branded to your university, your hospital, your organization. Um, you get choice of whether you want to print or not, or if you already have a printing system, 
again, it's, it's kind of like Legos. You get to build out what you want. And then if you choose, you can have a video for a custom video for every donor, or as we're recommending, maybe for your top donors, you can do custom videos. Because this is Thank View, all of your reports are delivered with videos. So you could do videos from your student recipients, from the faculty chairs, um, from the department heads, the deans, your choice. There's infinite flexibility. Um, so I hope that with a raise of hands, you guys can say, we wanna see what it looks like, and then I'll take you into the platform. I see a lot of folks raising their hands right now, and I am gonna take you into that platform and show you how the experience begins. So let me share my screen again, and we'll go from there. Half of this is, um, you know, negotiating out your screens, right? Like you get all nervous when you share your screen to people. You're like, oh, I hope nobody sends me an email. Like, I hope my mom doesn't text, right? But I got a solution. So this is what a, for those of you who are familiar with ThankView, you know this is uh, beautifully branded. Um, this is a test, so that's why it says test. Um, fully customizable. Um, so in your base package, you'll get a fully customizable envelope. Um, we have made up a fictional university, Thank You University. They're the unicorns. Um, and your donor would receive this email and all of this text is editable and I'll show you that as well. The donor, all they have to do is click on the button to take them to your custom landing page. Each school, university, um, hospital, you can have, you get a custom landing page with this. If you wanted to do extra landing pages, like one per college, we can certainly do that at an upgraded cost. But you're going to throw in a photo here of your brick buildings or your, you know, your facade. All of this is going to be custom to your PMS colors. Your brand guidelines are going to be followed. Um, and of course, here is the thank you video. We have Keith, who is the one of JD's founding partners. And um, again, it's a video full with sound. Um, you'll see here we've enabled the closed captioning features. For those of you who need to meet accessibility standards, we meet all accessibility standards. So completely accessible for you. Um, and you can do as many videos again, or you can do one video. So that's the video section. Then you're going to go down and you're going to see the text. All of this text again is editable and I'm going to show you how to do that. One of the features I really like is you can embed links. So I'm a big fan of getting survey data from your donors and I think that's one of the advantages of digital delivery to begin with is that unlike regular endowment reporting where you kind of mail it and pray, you're going to get a whole suite of analytics on the back end that shows you who opened it, what they did with it, all their activities. But also you can embed a survey that donors can take to let you know how they felt about this new um, delivery. So then we're gonna scroll down and these are what we're calling the tabs or the reports. Um, with the base package, you're gonna get one static tab because most of you have like an overview of your endowment or a static impact report. That doesn't change per donor, right? It's the same PDF per donor. And we've mocked up a sample one here for you to see. You know, it's got some facts and figures, but every donor gets the same tab here in the second tab. And each tab comes with its own set of features. So you, the donor can download this as a PDF and save it on their computer. They could share it. So if you send this to a foundation board member, they could share it with other board members. If you send this to Chip, he might want to share it with his son or daughter and family. They can print it on their computer at home. So again, saving you the hassle of printing it yourself, or they re can request a printed copy. What the request button will do is it'll send us a notification that they've requested a printed copy. We'll send you an Excel spreadsheet and you can say, yes, I want to print all of those or no, I don't want to print those. Um, and so we will, um, we will send you a list and then you get to decide. You can also disable the request a printed version so your donors don't have to have that. I have a great question from Stephanie Otino. Can you provide more information on the share option? Does that share via email? 
Yes, so you can share it via email with anyone. It's the regular feature in ThankView, Stephanie, that allows for sharing of the ThankView you receive. So it would come in a secure email and you would start just like um, you did when I showed it to you in the email. That's a great question. Keep the questions coming, right? So then the other one you're going to receive here is this is going to be your information that we're calling the dynamic or the variable data. And this changes by donor. So you know some donors have one fund report, some donors have five, some, some reports are sent to five donors. This is password protected. Now JD has embedded the password up here um, to, so that I remember it, but that's not normally there. So we're gonna type in Otter, we're gonna hit enter, and then they'll be able to see their secure um, password protected fund report here. Um, let me just get that to set. There it goes. Um, it'll get big in two seconds. It's just running slow. I've got everybody on right now. There it is. Boop! It pops up. It's just running thank you, running Zoom, running crazy. My computer's like, brr, right? So, um, so this is personalized per the donor or variable data. This is what our magic elves do at night. They take your PDF and they split it out and John Smith receives John Smith's report. Jo you know, Jack receives Jack's report. And again, this is all variable data personalized to the donor, password protected and secure. So Janzel asks a good question. Where do they get their password? Um, and Janzel, I'm gonna switch back to the original screen I was on and show you that it says, hey Lynn, we'd like to present you with your password protected report. Your password is Otter. So all they have to do is copy and paste that or probably it will be something related to your organization. Like mine would probably be like, go Gamecocks or you know something like that. Um, and so that is how they get their password. Um, it's one password for all of the reports. Um, and so that is what you would have. So Peggy, your question is, how would the portal look for a donor with multiple endowments? Sure, so with a donor with multiple endowments, and as you can see in the example I'm showing you, I just probably didn't get to the scrolling all the way part. John and Jane Smith have two endowments. So they have two PDFs and they're strung together. So um, you see one and then you'll see the next one. So we'll just stitch those PDFs together and they will have both funds right there in their PDF easily displayed. So great question. And then of course you see the reply button. A lot of donors use the reply feature. That'll come back to you. They can reply in text, in email or in video. So they can reply with a video. So this is what it looks like. You can also include impact reporting here. Yep, um, thanks Peggy, we were pretty excited about it too. So if a donor has 10 funds, you just scroll through. If they have one fund, you would scroll through at just the one fund. Um, the nice thing is for the static page, um, we can do um, a different impact piece here by college, school, and unit. So engineering could have a different page than math, um, but you get, with the base package, you get one static page and you get one dynamic tab, right? So one customized for the donor and one for the overall piece. Um, Amanda, that's a great question. Is the layout and coloring all customizable? So we've decided, Amanda, that everybody should be the Thank You Unicorns. And so you get the blue and white and um, that's what you get. And you get Keith as your dean and we're not doing any custom, JD's shaking his head. What, JD? I think unicorns- Of course, of course. No, listen, listen, I wish we were all, we we're all unicorns, but yes. Um, just like with your regular thank you package, uh, you'll be able to customize just what your look is. And you know, one, we can use the look that you already have with thank you, but if you wanted to have a brand new look, a brand new envelope landing page, that's all included with the base package. Yeah, sorry about that. I just have to have some fun with you guys sometimes, you know, sometimes you just, you just don't know. And I'm gonna show you how you can personalize everything, but everything will be custom to your PDF, your brand guidelines. Holly asked the question, can you use Otter to send PDFs that we've created in another system? Yes, any type of PDF is the type of file that we can send for you. So as long as it's a PDF, 
we can do that. Um, let me show you a couple of things on the back end um, of the system, just like in Thank View. So it's, it is Thank View, in case you're wondering. Otter is just a, an addition to Thank View. He's a Thank View friend, right? Um, but as you can see here, you can change the subject line, you can change the email message, you can change the sender name. Now for a lot of you, a lot of your gift officers are gonna wanna deliver this from them. We can send it from their email or from a generic email and copy you on it. So that can be customizable as well. So if you wanna, it's just a column in the spreadsheet as to the gift officer and we can certainly personalize that for you. So we would just enter their name and their email address there and then um, they're able to do that there. So that's a great question as well. Um, so Kristen is asking, is there a limit? There's no file limit. If a donor wants to receive 90 pages, we can do that. We can do student photos. Any PDF you can create, we can build into Otter. Um, one of the things you were asking, Kristen, is that you have student photos. Yes, we can do photos on the files, anything. But you also may want to use the thank you feature, where if I show you this under videos, you can actually send a link or a text message to a student and have them record a custom video for their donor. And we can actually splice that together in with the dean or the president's message. And so each donor could also get a recording from their student. Now that would be that's kind of the really the way to go. So you can come in here and you can request a recording from all of your students over here and your students can re um, send recordings to donors. So you can totally do it that way. So Laura, I hope that answered your question about is there an easy way to share with development officers. Um, there's a couple of ways to do that. We also at the end of the process um, uh, at the end of the process, we're going to send you a file that you can upload into your database. We're database agnostic, so we don't prefer any database. You can use whatever one you have because that's what the reality is. We're going to send you a file with all the data and links to the PDF so that you can upload them into your database, mass upload them as contact reports because we know that you want to store these PDFs in your database as well. So we're going to make sure that you do that. So hopefully that gets to your question, Laura. Tina, the PDFs can include all the colors of the rainbow. They don't need to be black on white. We have colors in our PDFs, so we want you to use whatever you'd like to use. Um, we have an anonymous question. Is it possible to send a donor their report without a video? So good question, Anonymous. Remember, ThankView is a video platform. So if you don't want to send a human talking in the video, we can help you create a video of like B-roll images of your organization with some nice music and animated video. Um, so that would be something um, that you could do there. Um, you're also on the back end going to get look, all of this nice analytics just like you get in ThankView. So it'll tell you whether it's delivered, whether it's been opened. And if you look right over here under actions, there's a nice resend button. Now that's going to be key for the people who you deliver it to who don't open it. So absolutely um, you're going to be able to resend that, copy the direct link. What's up, JD? Yeah, I was just going to say one thing um, we are working towards as well is be able to create some sort of automatic resend X number of days after the send. So while you can certainly, you know, preempt that and resend, you know, the day after, um, you should be seeing that you'll be able to automatically resend these after X number of days. So new bonus feature that we're throwing in, people have asked for there. Um, Carrie says, if you're sending out 750 and down reports, would the reply button be used so frequently for assistance or just random questions in reading the report? How would we manage the potential questions that could be flooding in? Well, we haven't, you know, that that's something that you'll have to work out with your team, but um, a lot of it will be donors saying, this was great, just like normal thank views. They reply to them. I don't know what the normal reply rate is on a thank view, JD, overall, but I don't think you're going to get flooded. No, and you can always toggle those on and off. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to allow them to reply. Also, you know, there's also the secondary buttons of, of download and share. We just turn those off for the, for the example. You can turn those on and off. I'd say if you, if you explicitly ask for a response, that's when you're going to get the most. Otherwise, 
your likelihood of being flooded, uh, not, not too high. Great. Um, so Melissa says, sounds like there's a spreadsheet that is used to help deploy these. Can we get a copy of the templates that we would need to use? Yes. So Melissa, after today, if you're um, still hankering, and, and I'm going to go back in and share some more slides here. Um, if you're still hankering for Thank View the way I think you will be, we set up individual calls with you, with your Otter rep, which is someone from Donor Relations Guru. We walk you through what kind of you're going to need to deploy. We ask you a lot of questions, and then we walk you through deployment, which includes a secure spreadsheet. Um, we have guidance for how to craft the PDFs if you want to do them yourselves, everything like that. Um, uh, Melissa, good question. That's from my alma mater, South Carolina, which we're working together on Otter. Um, what file types you need? Um, it's just PDFs and an Excel, and we work with you to make sure um, that does that. So absolutely, absolutely. So I'm going to go through a little bit more about our costs, and I'm going to come back to some of your questions there, just so that I can make sure timing-wise I'm not wasting anyone's time. Um, also in the platform, you can embed a call to action button, just like the reply button. So that answers Jamie's question there about the call to action button. The call to action could lead to a survey, it could lead to a giving link, it could lead to anywhere you want it to go. Great question. So what does Otter cost from the beginning? One of the first things I said is we want it to be affordable and we want to be as transparent as possible. So we came together as a company and we banged out what it actually costs to send. Um, and so here's what you get in the base package. That is, if you provide Otter the PDFs yourself, meaning you've done all the merging, all the heavy lifting, you're going to get digital delivery of up to a thousand reports. Lynn, are you, are you sharing this screen? Because we're still seeing, Oops. thank you. Yep. Oops, so sorry. Let me, um, thanks for that. <laughs> no, I didn't want you to be talking for 10 minutes and then uh, be like, what are you we know. About? So here's, does that better, JD? Got it. See, even I make mistakes. It's no big deal because at least nobody said, you're on mute, you're on mute, right? That's our famous one right now. So you're going to get digital delivery of up to a thousand endowment reports. You're going to be able to preview the PDFs and preview the delivery. So two stages for proofreading. You're going to have the option to password protect them. You can put in a link or a call to action. You've got your video so that you don't have to do cover letters anymore. You've got the ability for your donors to download, share, reply, or print it, or for them to request on-demand print and fulfillment services. That's options. All of them you can select or unselect. You get one custom Otter envelope for your reports to be delivered in, a digital envelope. You get a custom Otter landing page. Now, those of you with Thank You might be saying, oh my gosh, we have so many people logged in to Thank You. I don't want them to have the ability to send an endowment report. That was one of the first things we heard. No worry, we're going to send up a special Otter portal for you, and only the people you tell us will have access to that Otter portal. So there'll be nobody logging in, being able to just whisk away an endowment report. Don't worry. We got, we got you there. Um, you're going to have two specific tabs, one variable data, one static, knowing that you have the option to add additional tabs for impact reporting, either static or dynamic, but those are upgrades. You get five hours of our time and Donor Relations Guru to walk you through the whole process. We're going to be there side by side. Um, CHIPS team does the data integration and programs them. They come in at night and split the PDFs. They do all of the hard work in terms of matching the donor to the PDF. We have a computer program that does that. Um, you're going to get a re report after your delivery for upload into your database. And then, of course, we're going to be here hand in hand with you, technical support, customer support. ThankView has a chat feature that's live during business hours um, that they respond to in about five minutes or less. Um, and all of that for less than $5,000. All of that is $47.75. Again, each school is the same. Each organization is the same. We want to be very transparent about our pricing. That's above your Thank View contract. So if you already have Thank View, this is just an Otter add-on. Um, right, JD? Yep. And to that, I think there's a few questions in terms of do you need to have the Thank You, con uh, thank you platform? Yes. So 
you, it does, Otter does require that you have thank you. The Otter sits on top of that existing contract, but also as you mentioned, uh, Lynn, this is just an addendum to your existing contract. So it's not going out to bid. We can turn it around very quickly uh, and it's all seamless. Yep, same thing. So some of the donors you're not gonna have email addresses for. So you're gonna still need to print and mail. Well, we're gonna deliver print pricing for you. Um, and that way, if you have people you need to mail at to, we can handle all that fulfillment for you. In addition, you may have some donors that you might wanna send both digitally and in print we can do that as well. So all seamless, all from the same source. So here are your upgrades. We have the convenience package. So you hand us a spreadsheet and you hand us the PDF templates, we'll merge it, we'll do all the data integration, we'll do all the sorting, you proof it and out the door it goes. So you don't have to do your endowment reporting, sorting and merging, we can do that for you. Um, that's $4,250. So for under $10,000, we can do your whole endowment reporting process for you if you have a thousand or less funds. Again, digitally, contactless, ready to go, right? If you have, if you're a big, bigger organization and you have more than a thousand endowed funds, we price that by the report. So it's $2 per report above the thousand, not by how many you send. So you can send one report to 50 donors. It's still one report. We're not looking to nickel and dime you on every email send, anything like that. Um, if you want to add custom impact reporting and you want that like in a third tab, we can do that. It's $2 per report. We can also add a static tab that where if you want, two pieces and you don't want to string them together in one PDF, we can do separate tabs. So I think the max tabs we're hoping for is four. So two static, two dynamic or vice versa. We can also, we have graphic design resources. So if you need to start over, if you don't have communications resources, we can quote you all of that. We can write it, we can do photography. Um, we've been doing that with a couple of clients already, Alaska and um, FIU and others and we're handling that. We can also, we know that people right now, unfortunately are going through furloughs and layoffs. We can take over your entire endowment reporting process and project manage that. And of course you can always buy extra hours of consulting. Normally our consulting hours are $200 an hour, but we're offering them at $100 an hour for this. For all of your print, we're gonna bid that out with Chip and his team. You're gonna send us your, um, needs and we will price that out. What we're finding through our first three weeks of, uh, we launched this on May 15th, so we're three weeks in. Um, we have customers already signed up and banging at the door and we're excited, but we found out that for 90% of our customers, when we show them the print pricing and the auto delivery, it's cheaper than what they spent last year to print. And we're currently doing tallies with our beta clients around how much time this is saving them. So a little bit about timelines, and then I'm gonna go back to the questions. Once you purchase Otter, so after this call, if you're interested, JD is going to pop up a little poll and or you can email us and we'll set up individual calls with you. We begin to work hand in hand. We build a custom timeline for you, all based on when you need them delivered. Um, we are also taking reservations in terms of, you know, November is when a lot of people want to send. So we're doing this first come, first serve um, as we get busier and busier. Um, you know, you, once you upload the PDFs into Otter, uh, to our secure servers, um, we, it takes us about two to three weeks to get them uploaded into Otter for you to proof. Um, and we can go from there. You can follow up your personalized talk today and you can purchase now to capture end of fiscal year money and then we can deliver them in the fall. So, so that's kind of our timeline. Our email address, if you want to have separate conversations, is otter at thankyou.com. That goes to the three of us. We share, manage your email address, and JD's also going to put up a poll for you. Yeah. I'm going to dive right into these questions, JD. Does that sound good? All right. Good? Well, I just, I'm going to launch the poll. Okay. And this, so, so as, as Lynn said, if you are interested, you want to con connect and continue the conversation, otter at thankyou.com. Um, otherwise, we've just put up a thing saying once you've kind of got your information saying yes, no, if you are interested in learning more, this will also help us kind of tailor our outreach. So if we don't hear from you, we'll say, hey, let's make sure that we reach out and connect with you. So 
I'll just leave that live. And yeah. thank you for everyone, you know, polling yes and no, both are very, very useful. For those that are no, uh, I, we will likely just reach out and try to figure out, is it, a, is it a money thing? Is it a timing thing? Is it just not meeting your needs? So we can continue to improve uh, the process. Yeah. Right now we're focusing on endowment reporting, but we know a lot of you have other uses. So we've talked to some universities um, that want to go out there and deliver impact reports or um, Jamie on here is saying, can I use this for gift receipts? Eventually, yes, you could use this for gift receipts, any PDF. Right now we're focusing on this fall endowment reporting season. So we're going out first with beta tests. Auburn University is gonna be our first one. They just uploaded their files to us and those will be going out within um, days and weeks here. Um, we also have the University of Tennessee signed on, Whitworth University. So we have a variety of universities that are gonna be using the platform. Alaska, LSU, and others have ordered this. Um, we're in talks with so many more of you and so we're so grateful um, about this. Um, for you. And what we'll do is we'll send you these slides and the recording afterwards. Um, so Gail asks, we're decentralized, JD. We've never heard that one before, right? And some of our schools have thank you and some don't. Can Otter sit on top of one of those accounts or do we need our own thank you account also? No, we can, I mean, if, you, if, you're, in, if you're in cahoots with one of the other uh, organizations, one of the other departments, Certainly, you'll want to check with them. But if you if we have an existing contract that we can just make an amendment to, it's completely fine. Yep, that's great. Uh, so I think that also answers Kia's question or Kaya's question. They have your institution holds a thank you contract. You can add Otter at the school college unit level as well. Anybody who already has thank you, this is an add on there. Julia asks, can you remove the download, share, and print options along the top of the report? We're a little concerned about privacy for some of our scholarship students. Yep, all of those options are up to you, um, but most of our um, students have signed like a release form that allows us to release that information to donors and or we're using FERPA data. So that's something for you to think about there. Um, Melissa asks, is there a pricing structure for the print and fulfillment services for those without digital contact data. Yep, during our call with you, Melissa, to follow up, if you choose to schedule a call, Chip will take your requirements for printing. We ask you to give us a sample of one of your past um, endowment reports, and then we create pricing custom for you. So absolutely. Catherine asks, what information is needed to match the donor with the unique PDF? How's this done? Well, it's magic. And if I told you, I'd have to, oh no. So it's all done through a unique identifier, which is usually the donor ID and the fund ID. We put some codes in there and the computer system starts matching them up. So again, you know, it's pretty easy to do. Um, it's really nice to do. Um, and it's not that hard for us because we, we do this all the time. Teresina asks, for each tab, is there a limit on the number of pages? There is not, Teresina. If you can create it, we can, um, we can make it happen in order for you. So no worries. Jeanette, for you that don't have thank you, what you'll do is you'll go to thank you forward slash demo and they will take you through a thank you demo and they will make sure that you have and they price out thank you to be what you need it to be because everybody's is different and then they can show you otter add-on as well so absolutely yeah, and that's just thank you.com slash demo but yep. exactly there yep thanks jd um, Julia, would you recommend eventually printing and sending if folks never open the email? You know, Julia, that's a really good question. We're, we're testing this out with some pretty traditional audiences with Auburn and Baylor and some of the other folks that are um, pretty traditional, um, LSU and some others at Tennessee. And so we're going to find out, you know, whether donors like this um, want request additional printing. Um, but I would recommend if they never open the email, what I would do first is um, they would send a link via their gift officer. Um, and we can do that in the back end of, of the Otter platform. And then if that fails, then maybe we print and mail it. So that's a great one. 
that that's a really great one. Abby, oh Abby, hi Abby. My wanna, email landed in my junk folder. Yes, JD. I just want to make one more impassioned plea. The poll about half of you filled it out. Thank you. We got the other half. We still got time. So if you if you got a yes, no, maybe you're still making up your mind, but just plug in the poll one more time. So Abby is out there from Oklahoma State and she says, JD, hers landed in her junk folder. Mine does that because I've assigned anything with test to my junk folder. Um, is that just a systems thing for her organization or how do you, how do you help with whitelisting? Yes, so, so um, as most universities, I imagine most people on, on the call are universities or hospital systems or even in some cases uh, nonprofits, you tend to have uh, kind of heightened either security features or um, you know, firewalls, things of that nature. What we do, what kind of um, minimizes that coming from your organization we actually will update the DNS settings. So it'll look like it's coming from your domain. So, uh, you know, at university.edu. And we can also whitelist the, the um, thankfew.com. So then when things get sent out by you, uh, that minimizes the likelihood it hits uh, spam folders. To be completely honest, no system is perfect. We, you know, we, even if we did everything, which we, we take every step that we can, we're gonna hit some, uh, some folders just because of the nature of a security setup. But again, that's where that resend and grabbing the URL link uh, could come in handy too. So if, if sending it, uh, someone doesn't interact with it after a send or two, you can grab the direct URL link, have it send through your gift officer's email, uh, just as a, as, a, as a link itself. That would be the, the best way to, to, to do it from there. Yeah, and I think that's a great question, Abby. In addition, we know that ThankView has like four to five times higher open and click-through rates than normal emails anyway. So that's one of the reasons that we built it on ThankView is because most donors are familiar with it. They're familiar with receiving it well. So it's a great question. That's a great question. Angela says, how long is this report available digitally to go back and review? Um, Angela, it, we thought about doing it like Mission Impossible, you know, like this, this report will self-destruct in 30 seconds, but um, that was just a dream. Um, but um, it's available until you tell us to delete the information. You own the files, even though they're hosted on our servers. So if any time you want to get rid of those files, you can. But what we're thinking, um, we're thinking ahead, of course, because we're always thinking about next iteration is next year when you send them out via Otter, it will probably have their last year's PDFs and this year's PDFs. So of course we haven't built that yet, but that's in my mind's eye so that they'll be able to go back and see previous years. That's my hope. But also um, the PDFs are yours, you own them. We provide you a file with all the PDFs in it when they're done. So you don't have to worry about that as well. So JD Liz says, can these links be sent via text just like thank yous can? Yes, so uh, we can send it if you have their, their cell phone number. The little complexity comes into, if texting tends to be an add-on feature with packages. So um, for your regular package, if you don't have it on there, you still won't be able to send text through your regular package, but for um, Otter, we'll allow it to send through either email or, or text message. And again, Great. just a nice, a nice little plug, if you don't have texting yet and you want to add it, thinkview.com, reach out, we'll, uh, we'll add it on there for you. I love it, I love it. Um, that's that's gonna be really effective, I think, even, you know, so we, if we, they don't have an email, we can also text them. Gail says, when you say we deliver you the PDFs, does that mean we send you the PDFs needed per donor or that each narrative financials in PDF? Gail, all you have to do is provide us really two files, one for print and one for digital delivery. You're gonna upload them into ShareFile, which is our secure servers. Um, and you can send, if you have 10,000 reports, one PDF is fine um, for print and one PDF for digital delivery. The only difference between the PDFs is one is full bleed for printing. Um, one bleeds all over the place and the other one doesn't. So um, again, that's the only difference between the two PDFs, but you don't have to split them out into thousands of PDFs. Great question. Holly says two questions. For the basic package, can you send more than a thousand? Yep. So any reports above a thousand, it's two dollars per report, Holly. Like we just had Notre Dame this morning and they're sending 4,400. So they just pay um, per report above the thousand. And then you asked for matching donors to PDFs. If you're supplying the PDFs, can you explain how this process works? So you want the recipe for how we do our work, huh, Holly? What happens is each file has a unique identifier. 
each donor has a unique identifier. We have a uh, program that can read those unique identifiers in the PDFs and also from the spreadsheet. It's an algorithm that matches them, sorts them, and bundles them. Um, I could get into the tech behind it, but then, you know, you do it, no, but it's, it, it is, it is something that, um, and then we do a little manual manipulation to make sure it's right, and then you preview them. Um, so you wouldn't have to do any of that bundling or anything like that. Um, Stephanie asks, can you send an email with only the personal report tab, or do you need to include the static report tab? Um, it's up to you. We have not had anybody request just the personalized report. Um, I'm sure it's possible, question mark, JD, um, to have just a dynamic tab, not a static tab. Sure. Okay. What he said. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we're, 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 you know, the, the, the customary is the two, but, you know, we make, we make options for having up to four, but I imagine breaking it down to one um completely doable sure can we generate any content or pdfs within the platform um or is the only way to have the software generate the pdfs by using it to yeah no so right now you cannot generate the pdfs in the platform you send them to us we upload them because we have to card code them and things like that so um it would be custom so you can't just upload one at a time we're doing them in big batches also do we use PDFs because ThankView is it's essentially providing a secure PDF in browser reader? Um, do we use PDFs? Well, well, we use PDFs because that's what most shops use to print their endowment reports. So when I went to them and we came up with the idea to create this software and I brought them the idea, they asked me what was the output we needed to show. And 99% of the people in donor relations output PDFs. So that's why we're doing it that way. Because that's what we were asked for. That's what most people use. My goal in all of this is to not have you guys um, modify your process as much as possible. I want you to be as comfortable as possible with your process and not change your world. I don't want to flip your world upside down. We just want to make your world better and easier and have a better experience for your donors. Morel, Marielle, I'm sorry if I massacred your name. It sound, I'm so sorry. If I need to send a report to multiple donors, will these be considered just one report? Just one report. And that, so you could send one report to 90 people, you still pay for one report. And in that light, one of the things you wanna understand is we're not here to nickel and dime you. So as we go through our calls together and you say, I have 1400 I wanna email. If you end up emailing 1425, then we're not gonna go back and charge you for the extra 25 reports that you've emailed. That's not fair. We want you to go out and obtain email addresses. That's what a lot of folks are doing this summer with their gift officers. It's a great contact point, great way for you to connect with your donors. So we want you to do that. Um, uh, and so if, if it's close, we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna ticky tack charge you for two extra um, reports. So don't worry about that. It's a good question, but you can email the same report to 200 people because we know how group funds are pooled. We understand we're going to pay by the report, not by the email recipient. And so JD, I have a thank you question from an anonymous <laughs> attendee who says they have a certain number of um, email addresses in their thank you contract. Is this yep. above and beyond their thank you contract? Otters a separate portal? Yeah, we. we you know, because we'll break it out into its own separate portal, we'll treat it, you know, it's not going to infringe on the, um, the contact limit that you might have within the thank you platform. So that's, don't, don't worry about that. Um, I did also want to draw attention. There were a few questions in just the chat. Oh, uh, sorry. that's all right. Um, what file types would you receive, need to receive to complete PDFs, which we've talked about. Um, are you able to see when they open the report date and time? Yes, you will be able to know, when they've opened up and uh, viewed the thank you page, we are working now to build in deeper analytics, trying to see if we can actually see how far through the PDF they've scrolled. So you get even deeper understanding there. And then the last question, oh, how do they receive their password? That will be, e that'll be part of the email that's sent to them. Um, so they'll receive it there. Uh, and we'd work with you to set what that password would be. 
And then finally, I think you've already covered this, but might as well loop back around on it. Talk more about the convenience package. How do yeah. I get you the data? Yeah, the convenience package, I named it this weekend because I, I needed to come up with a name and I was thinking about cars. So the convenience package came up. Chip's laughing because um, every weekend, apparently I'm bored. And so I just work harder on Otter basically because I don't have a life anymore um, or never had one to begin with. I'm not quite sure which one that is. Otherwise known as COVID is making me very productive. Um, and so when I get tired of my jigsaw puzzles and my Real Housewives, I work on Otter. So at six in the morning on Sundays, they get emails emails from me and they go, this woman, she won't stop. All that to say the convenience package is the idea that instead of you doing all the labor behind the merging and the sorting, you know, it is a nightmare to bring together all your financial source, your narrative source, all that stuff. I know how much work that takes. For $4,000, you can give us all that work and we'll do it for you. So you can have multiple data sources. All we need is a PDF to merge the data into how you want it done and we will do that for you for $4,200. That's basically going to save you hours and hours of work um, and a lot of schools already outsource that to a print company or someone else. We're just taking that burden off of you um, and frankly um, it will save you more than you will spend um, in terms of what you will um, spend on that Amanda. So um, we found that a lot of people are opting for that. Um, it's a great ROI in terms of their staff time and effort. So great question. But I, I'm a big fan of, hey, here, thank you. Just take all this work and have a nice day. So I think that's a really great option for a lot of people. Um, so, yep. I want to give maybe one more plug. I believe that's, that's come to the end of our Q&A. Sure. One more plug yeah. for the poll. If yes or no, again, following up with this for the yes, we'll certainly be reaching out, setting up that meeting. And again, yes doesn't have to mean 100% yes. There's a lot more to figure out. There's a lot to talk with the team about to understand if this is the solution for you, that's completely fine. We're, we're happy to do that. For those that are no's, um, we'll be sending around just a short questionnaire to, to understand exactly what the issues are so that we can, you know, as we evolve the platform, if it's uh, a, a finance thing, okay, how can we provide this uh, to smaller shops? If it's a timing thing, if it's a team thing, if it's a delivery thing, all of your feedback as critical as possible is, uh, is massively uh, appreciated. So um, yeah, so thank you so much. And I'd like to thank Lynn and Chip, Silent Chip, but Chip. Silent Chip. Chip. Chip is the, uh, the glue on the back. You know, it's, it really is a, a triad here of us working together to be able to provide this without Chip being able to collate and kind of get the, get the PDFs in the right place and provide all the, the printing. We couldn't be a kind of soup to nuts uh, solution. So Chip, did you want to say anything? I would just say I do have a voice and Lynn and JD, you guys did such a great job. I didn't feel the need, but uh, exactly, we're, we're, uh, we're three legs on a stool, we all need each other to get this process completely done. Yep, and uh, I'll say just for, for most people who are on the, the call, most of you are current, thank you uh, clients, thank you so much for um, your partnership. We really appreciate it, especially during these times. Um, on top of Otter, we are gonna continue to push our platform to be able to do more for you, um, you know, in the terms of fundraising, in terms of stewardship, in storytelling and connecting with your audience, especially now, um, you know, during these troubling times, being able to get uh, a voice for those who may feel voiceless. Um, so keep on checking out the Thank You Partnership Community page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's literally Facebook Partner Community. Um, keep tuning in for, for great webinars like this. And again, I want to thank uh, and stay tuned because we will be naming the Otter at some point. Otter will get a name. Um, yeah, really appreciate it so much. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Chip. Thank you, everyone on the mm -hmm. call. And um, we look forward to uh, talking with you soon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. All right. Well, Lynn, Chip, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thanks, JD. Great job, guys. And talk to you soon. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah you, you're the one talking. I just. Well, Lynn, that was a lot of work. Good job. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.